Welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stuart Pendis. <laughs> hey guys, um, so dropping in, we're, we're selecting random mode. I'm hoping for some Beacon Rush. Uh, just got Beacon Rush on Shenzhen and it ended up in, or not Beacon Rush, uh, sorry, Deathmatch on Shenzhen. And so something I've, I've been seeing a lot of questions about, and this is what it looks like to me, I'm not certain, but uh, if... If there's an equal amount of kills on both teams, it looks like nobody wins. Like it's just a draw, but they haven't, pro they didn't program it to show up as a draw yet. Probably because this game mode hasn't been made permanent, so they didn't bother, you know, adding that into the code or whatever of of the live server. So I, I think that when, yeah. So as far as I can tell, I mean, if you look, neither team, if you've had a draw before. It just says that you lose, but neither team ends up getting anything. Oh, this will be perfect setup for a dash bot. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, the Zeus can't miss, and then uh, these guys can deal uh, pretty steady damage, the plasma. Um, but anyway, yeah, so if you notice, there's no gold awarded to either team, which uh, normally you can see that the other team, you know, won gold and everything. So I want to see if we can move in with our with this Ancelot on my team. And oh, never mind, we're not going to get it. <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully we can get the beacon, but um, I guess we got that Haichi right there. Never mind, we used to have that Haichi right there. <laughs> so let's just uh, we'll pop back out, blast this guy with the Zeus, and yeah, <laughs> get taken out. That Leo skid's kind of fun. I've actually uh, um, actually haven't seen that before. <laughs> Uh, when I was looking at skins when the event first dropped, I didn't see that one, but anyway. So I'm waiting here for Beacon E to get taken so that I can drop and uh, help a teammate with it. Give him a second for for the enemy guys to move in here. Alright, so this guy's almost dead, so I want to just go finish him off. Um, that way, we don't, have, we don't have him to worry about dealing damage. Just take him off the field. He has to move back here. Um, and that'll take some time, so... Anyway, I, I dropped into the the rocket setup with the golems. I figured it would be easier to defend the beacon if uh, if that's what we were running. So we'll just uh, see how, see how long we can defend this beacon for. This will be good. The more people we can pull over to this side of the map, the easier it will be for my team to get center back. I don't really care how long we hold this beacon as long as we can start attracting attention. Um, that that's the goal anyway. Looks like um, so. Looks like we got four people over here, um, which is good. That's exactly what we want is to pull attention away. That's like the only saving grace with Beacon Rush um, and the only way to really, you know, stay away from the tipping point that some of you guys talk about in the comments, like Don and everything. Um, Beacon Rush really is a game about, like, tipping points. Like, once you reach that point, you, like, basically can't, can't get back. Um, or it's very rare unless there's a late, uh, a late uh, mecking, mecking out of the other team. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the Golem Hanger has been fun. This is... Uh, since the last video that we recorded, I've pub probably played like six rounds with this. And some of them have been good, some of them have been meh. And the meh ones, I I actually would blame more on um, more on game modes than I would on the actual setups. <laughs> I've actually been really enjoying these. This has been a pretty good round so far um, with with the golem, so I'm, I'm not too upset about it. <laughs> Oh, he was almost just in range. We could have helped take him out. Oh, well. Okay, so that looks like a Carnage Thunder over there. Um, we've got that maimed Griffin. Oh, we got this Griffin here. So he's got Tehran Aphid. I thought those Aphids were coming for me for sure. Oh, he's behind a rock. <laughs> Curse you, Alex Norris. That guy over there is almost dead. So hopefully, yeah, it looks like the teammates just took him out. So, um, Okay, so that dude's done. <laughs> you see that? Head on a swivel. Boom. All right, I like it. I like it. I want some more of it. Just like moving around, moving, moving, moving. So that's a, that's my tip with like. I mean, you guys, you guys already know this, but like, you know, when you first start the game, especially when you're first getting used to like controlling uh, your robot and everything, it's easy just to like stand still and fire and everything. But the more you can learn to aim, fire while moving around and everything, like you want to keep moving. That way, that, that way you're not a predictable target, um, so don't like continually move in the same direction if, if possible. I mean, if you're there's sometimes when you're just trying to move somewhere that you really need to, um, you know, <laughs> you need to be able to just walk straight there. But, um, but yeah, make sure you're not standing still. Don't be an easy target ever. Um, 
and sometimes you don't know, you know, when you're getting shot at. Like he could be, you know, being fired upon from a blind spot. So, oh, this this is a really good angle for <laughs> for me to help support the team uh, on that guy anyway. Nice. So I've actually had several really good rounds with the tempests um, and molots on this. I kind I wish my molots were higher level. Uh, my tempest is 11, but my my molots are only. Uh, I, yeah, I think one of them's nine and one of them's ten. Um, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> so let me know if you guys are liking the golem hanger. I think I'm actually gonna keep it in for a little while. I want to see if I can, you know, get used to it more. And then I'm, I'm hoping to, you know, get some more useful tips for you guys that, as I've been, you know, playing and trying to figure out, like, you know, what what sets us apart. Uh, what makes it predictable, you know, so that you can try to counter that. Like, what's the other team going to expect? Um, and for the most part, I guess so far, people don't expect much out of these. Like if there's something else near me, um, like if I have another teammate near me, they pretty much ignore me and my golem. <laughs> Even though the golem puts out pretty, you know, pretty solid firepower. You don't think of it that way because people have generally been dismissive of it. Um, and rightfully so. I mean, it was very squishy before and I, I don't know, I didn't even really like using it in lower levels, but... Oh, where is he? I was, I was looking around. I was like, where are they? <laughs> like, zipping my head between beacons here. Okay, so that guy, it looks like he's being forced this way. Um, if he doesn't get taken out, hopefully we can circle around behind him. And uh, maybe we can drop into his Ansel. Let's try that, actually. So, oh, sweet. He's totally facing the other way. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> uh, the, the other guy got the kill. Well, that's fine. <laughs> we stopped him from moving backwards anymore and uh, we're able to finish up there. So, <laughs> Anyway, I think that was a pretty solid round. Let's take a look and see what the damage is. Big Sonic. I really like that Black Widow skin on the Raijin. I want to get it, but it's too expensive. Oh, dang. <laughs> that's definitely my best round so far. Anyway, let me know if you guys are liking the Golem stuff. And uh, smash the like button if you're impressed by that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day.